Hello, this is Oliver again, K6OLI, and today we're going to look at tactical addresses in Winlink Express. Tactical addresses are useful when you're working with partners or agencies because to them it's more meaningful having a name attached to the site that you're operating from than your FCC call sign. For example, if you're working at Huntington Hospital, Huntington is more meaningful to your partner agencies than K6OLI would be. And this is how you do it. In Winlink Express, go to Settings, go to Winlink Express Setup, and you have this whole area here for auxiliary call signs and tactical addresses. So today we're going to set up a tactical address. We're going to add an entry. I'm going to enter, in my case, which is a tactical address I use on a regular basis. So I already have a password set up for this, and we're going to enter this here. Um, you can show the password to check that you've entered it correctly. And you can enable this on this computer. Generally speaking, only one station at, at site or on site should have this enabled because like all WinLink addresses, messages are getting downloaded from CMS. Meaning if you have two people have the tactical address enabled at the same time, you're starting dividing up who's receiving it depending on when they check. So proper operating procedure is only one station has it enabled. The others that it may be set up disable their tactical addresses. So in this case, we click on save. And now we have this tactical address set up. We click on update. And now we can open a session, a Telnet WinLink session. I'll show you that this has been updated. I'll click on start. And you can see it actually checked K6LI-1 and it checked tactical call Arlington. All right. If you need to change a password, you can go back to settings, WinLink Express setup, Click on Arlington in this case, our tactical address. Click on Edit Entry. And then you can change the password. You can enter the current password and the new password and click on Save. And now the new password is activated. That's a good habit to get into, especially for incidents and events. So you don't have people running around after the incident and the event checking messages and messages may uh, maybe get redirected. Again, you want to have one station running the tactical address at any given point in time. You can disable the station very simply here or the tactical address. You can, where it says enabled, you uncheck that, you click on save. And now you can see the check mark on our tactical address here is unchecked. If we want to check it again, if we want to enable the station, let's say there's a shift change I'm taking over from another operator. I will click on edit entry. I will click on enable. The other operator would do the same thing, but disable his or her tactical address. Click on save. And now you can see it's checked again. And that's how easy it is to actually set up and enable and disable a tactical address. We can also remove a tactical address, remove entry, can remove it, click OK, click on Update, and we're good to go. Now we're going to show you how technical addresses are used in practical applications. So we'll go back to WinLink Express Setup. We'll add the entry again. Use our example here. Paste the password. We'll enable it. Click on Save. We'll update. Now we start a new message. And in this case, you will see in the from field, you actually have the option now that says Arlington. You can select Arlington, send a message to another tactical address. Let's say we want to send one to Huntington. This is a demo. And now we can. Um, also select templates like we usually do, but we can post this to Outbox. And now we have our message in the Outbox from Arlington to Huntington. 
And understand that your call sign is still part of the message. So your FCC call sign is still being sent with your message. If let's say you're during an incident or an event, you can actually default to this kind of sending. So if you go to a new message, what you see here is from, it's still my FCC call sign with the SSID in this case, but I can click on the right here to set defaults. And the default account for sending, I can set to Arlington, click on save, and then close this message. So now if I open the message, you can see it says from Arlington. So any message, a uh, new message I sent will be from Arlington. Yes, your FCC call sign will still be in the message header, but it will say from Arlington. That saves you a lot of time moving forward. You can return by going to set defaults, bringing back your FCC call sign, clicking on save, closing the message. Now we click on new message and you see we're back to normal the way we usually send messages. So make it a habit after your exercises to go back into your settings and do the set default option and switch back to your FCC call sign. And that is all there is to tactical addresses. In that case, thank you so much. This is Oliver, K6OLI, 7-3 to all of you.